Hi everyone, I'm hopeful that all you will be fine. In the last session, we have learned how you can actually enable the registration on your meeting when you are going to schedule a meeting using the Zoomgrest APIs. I have described all the options, what we have and how we can actually enable or disable what as per our requirement, I have described all the things on the last session. So if you are a new here and you are also interested with that, then just navigate to the Zoom integration playlist from my channel, watch that session and come back here. In today's session, we will learn how you can actually customize or modify the registration form. So once you have uh, enabled the registration on a meeting, when you are going to schedule a meeting, after that, when someone will redirect on the registration form, and that form, if you are interested to modify that form as per your requirement, then how you can actually add the custom questions or how you can actually enable the more available fields on that form. So today in the session, we will learn how you can actually achieve those things. Okay. First demonstrate when we are going to schedule a meeting, let's suppose we can see that here when I'm going to schedule a meeting on a, on a Zoom portal, you can see here first. I'm just scheduling a meeting with a registration required. I'm saving that. And once I navigate to that registration link, you can see here, we have uh, three different type of fields already by default on that form, which are first name, last name and email address. Okay. So these are the by default fields, which will be in the registration form. In today's session, we will learn how we can actually modify this form using the Zoom REST API. Okay. So we have already scheduled a meeting. We will use that meeting ID and we will modify that this registration form. Okay. So we navigate back to the VS code and here we need to first add a relative path endpoint inside the zoom constant. We need to say the post meeting registration form and we just pass meeting ID as a parameter and we will use a string interpolation here. We need to say API base URI and then we need to set meetings. Then we need to pass the meeting ID, which we have passed as a parameter. And then we need to set registrants and questions. Okay. We need to export this helper. So here we say meeting registration form. And then we need to navigate to the Zoom meeting helper. And here we first need to import that. Okay. So we say meeting registration form. And here we need to create another helper for that meeting registration form. So we name it meeting registration form. Either we can say meeting registration questions async, and we need to pass the meeting ID, and we also need to pass the payload. Okay. Basically, this API have a light rate limit. That means you can send 30 requests per second with a pro plan and you can send 80 requests per second with a business plus and you must have a meeting right or meeting right admin scope so any one scope you have then you will be able to add the registration form questions okay and you have needed to pass the meeting id as a parameter and that meeting id will be a long integer number you cannot pass a meeting uuid okay so you can only pass the meeting id so meeting id will be a long integer number in this form okay and this will be passed as a parameter you have seen that we have created a relative path helper here and we are building a uri we are passing that as a parameter here okay and inside the payload, you have a two different type of a collections or arrays inside the payload. Okay. One is a questions and an other is a custom questions. Inside the questions, you can only enable or disable the available allowed fields from the Zoom. Okay. So basically, Zoom have a set of fields which are allowed. You can enable or disable those type of a questions or fields inside the registration form. Here are those. Okay. So here are the allowed fields from the Zoom. You can set or configure any field from this allowed fields. And you can set that inside the questions as object. You can see in this way, okay. You can say it if we are just enabling the industry. Okay, let's suppose we are taking an example. Then you need to set the field name and you need to set the field name as we are just setting here industry of the type string so we say industry if we are interested to enable this field name to be required then we need to set f2 and if we are not interested and we are, we are going to set that field name as optional then we need to set f false okay now 
we need to first build the request, access request, and we will first do a demonstration regarding the questions, the allowed field questions, and then we will build the custom questions. Okay. So we first need to build our request. So we say const data await and we say Axios. Here we need to set the URI. We will call the meeting registration form helper. And here we need to pass the meeting ID. And then we need to set the method and the method will be page, okay? We will page the payload. And we need to set the data and data will be payload, okay? And we need to set the headers. Inside the headers, we need to set the authorization header. And we will use a string tabulation. I think we need to copy and paste that from here so we can save the time. So we can just paste it here. Okay. And then we need to bind then. We say response. Here we need to return response. And we need to bind cage. We say error. We also need to copy that error block from the above request and we paste it here okay need to form the code then we need to return the data okay and inside the meeting api we need to first import that so we say here meeting registration questions at the bottom we need to create an endpoint with a page and we say api slash zoom slash meeting id okay and we need to say it here questions either i can say the registration questions okay async request response and here we need to call the helper so we say let questions result await and we will call meeting questions and we need to pass the meeting id we will get that from params meeting id and we will also get the payload from request.body okay so it is request.body and then we need to return response.json here we need to response the question result permit okay now we need to start the api npm start Okay, then we need to navigate to the browser and first we need to authorize. So we say localhost 44000 slash API slash zoom slash authorize. Hit enter. We are successfully authorized. Now we need to copy the meeting ID and then we need to open the postman. Inside the learn with NAC collection, we need to add a request. We need to change this to page. We rename this meeting registration questions. And then we need to set the endpoint path. So we say localhost 44000 slash API slash zoom. And we need to paste the meeting ID. It is meetings, I think. It is meetings. No, it is, uh, it is zoom API. API Zoom meeting ID in. Okay. So we need to paste the meeting ID and then registration and questions. I think we need to verify that thing. For that, we need to copy and paste the path from here. Okay. Save this and just click on body, select RA, JSON. And here, inside the payload, we need to set the questions. As you have seen that, we are just going to demonstrate first this question subject, okay? And inside that, we are just going to enable the industry and we are setting that to required, okay? So we are just setting here field name industry. We are setting this to industry and we are setting this required true okay we first need to refresh the form so we can you can see there is a no any industry field oh we have a one type of mistake here so we need to change this to a collection of questions okay now send once again and we have got 204 status 
continue and now we need to refresh once again and you can see we have a industry you can see we have a drop down for the industry now you can see here it is a required field okay okay and now we will demonstrate regarding the custom questions okay so inside the custom questions you can also pass the objects as a custom questions inside the custom questions array as we have already did for the questions okay but the but the regarding the payload the payload field will be changed for the custom questions okay so inside the custom questions array you can need to set the object and inside that object you need to first set the type of the question okay inside the type you can only set any one value from this set okay so either you can say it short either you can say it single okay so we are setting here single okay because we are going to adding the multi-choice question here so that's why i selected single if you will set here type as a short then then you will be not able to create a multi-choice question uh, that's why i selected here type single okay and which is called title title of the question so i'm just setting the title here select your favorite i'm just setting the title of that question inside the title you need to set the value of type is string okay so first you need to set the type then title then you need to set the answers okay and the answers will be an array array object okay if the question type is a single then you can set the multiple answers okay but if the type is a short then you will only set the one answer inside that okay and inside the answers you need to set the string values uh, string objects okay so answer i am setting here the green red blue other okay and you can also save the question custom question either required or the optional so by setting the required field to true that question will be required on the form and if you say it here false then the question will be optional on the form okay so i think we need to comment this first okay and then we need to navigate to the postman and inside the postman we will add the custom questions okay and inside the custom questions we need to say the custom question and we say this type in type we will say single and we need to set the title and title we say select your color and we need to set the answers here inside the answer we are setting green blue red others other okay and we are setting this to require two save this oh, we have a missing title okay so we have a type of mistake here card title we need to save this continue continue and continue we can see we have successfully added that question now we refresh once again and you can see we have a custom question here you can see select your color and it is a required field once you click on this you can see you have a green blue red of this okay so i'm hopeful that you have enjoyed this session if you have any query regarding this session then just please place your queries inside the video comment section either you can share your queries and suggestions via my share contact details take care bye bye